Good morning, my little cherry blossoms, and welcome to another episode of ZooCraft. Now, if I seem a little bit um, abnormal today, it is because I literally just woke up like an hour ago and this is my first time talking prolonged. So if I, uh, if my voice sounds a little weird for the first part of this, that is why. <laughs> We are once again in this beautiful world, and today we are going to be continuing the butterfly aviary, but to mix it up a little bit, I am also going to be starting a little outdoor area for our amazing Curly Fry. And if you do not know who Curly Fry is, if you've missed a couple episodes, let me give you a little update. This is Curly Fry Jr. Um, I had, can you show me your face and not your butt, please? Here, do I have anything that you would enjoy? Yes, I have carrots. Goodbye, there you go. There you go, buddy. <laughs> and right back to showing me his butt. Okay. What about potato? I know you like potato. There you go. Okay, fine. You know, keep nomming on that carrot. It's okay. Curly Fry Jr. is the, basically, the second little pig I've had on ZooCraft total. But in this ZooCraft world, they're my first little pig I've ever had. And I named them after um, a pet pig, yes, I'm talking about you, um, that I had in my um, old ZooCraft world back when I did ZooCraft years and years and years ago. And I thought it would be just a nice little commemorative thing. But they're stuck in this little house all day because we don't have a pig uh, habitat and we, live in this small cabin that I hope to obviously expand one day. I also need to give the roof a little bit more detail, but regardless, they need to be able to go outside. So I thought I might make just like a little area off the back that, ooh, thank you. Um, it's just a little area off the back that he can just hang out in and it's just, just big enough for him to get in and out and whatnot. So let's first figure out how we're gonna do this. So I'm assuming we'll probably just like fence and then just kind of line this here and then round it off. And there is mud uh, for pigs to be able to roll in. So I'm gonna make him like a little, little mud area too, if I can find any mud or if I know how to make mud. Actually, let me see, mud. Can you make it? Animania, yes. It, it's literally just dirt and water. Okay, awesome. I'll definitely be able to do that. Hello, buddy. Okay, let's see how much, what do we have? We actually have quite a bit because we're just going to use oak wood. Unlike with our butterfly aviary, we have been using a lot of different types of woods. Is it like this or is it the opposite way? I always forget. It's like this. Okay, cool. So we'll grab... That should be enough. And then we will swap it for a fence gate so that I can also get into the area and take care of our little curly fry. There we go. We need two of them because we're also going to have a little deal in the house that he can walk through. Let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to connect it here and then there. Just kind of lining this area. Uh, let's make this where no other animals can jump in or mobs or anything to keep our curly fry safe. And then this. Perfect. And then we will make this the way we can enter. And let's also add some torches around here. Here, I'll just do this so that no mobs spawn inside of the area. There we go. And right here will be his little exit and entrance. Um, I do want to make the floor match like so. And then we'll add a fence gate and we'll leave it open for him during the day. And at night we'll probably close it just because we want to make sure he's nice and safe and can get all cozy and cuddly. No, the other way. <gasps> there you go, buddy. Here we, I want to see him in it. Do you like it? Do you like your area? You can, you can hang out outside now. <gasps> yes. Oh my God. He's so cute. Oh my God. If there are any artists out there that watch the series and are a fan, please, please, please make some curly fry fan art. I would, oh my God, I would make a shrine for it. Oh my God. I love it so much. And I'll show it off in the next episode. If anyone's able to do that for me, that would be amazing. Um, if you do end up making fan art, uh, you can tag me on Instagram at Izumi Builds, or you can tag me on Twitter at Izumi underscore XOXO. I'll, I'll put it on the screen to make sure that that's correct. Um, it's all linked down in the description as well. If you click on the link in the description, everything, it's my game, it's my gaming Instagram and my regular Twitter. Um, or you can just go over to my discord by hitting the discord button in that little link tree um, and post it in the fan art chat. 
You are so cute. Oh my God. I'm so happy that they have their own little outside area now. Oh my God. It, it has made their life so much better and I'm so happy for them. You're going to do great things, curly fry. Now, let me get you some mud. I feel like that would be adorable. If you have any other ways you want me to spruce up the outside, let me know and I will do so. Um, I do want to get Curly Fry a friend, will say, um, that I, I, I really want to do that. And I think the best way to do that will be to make a pig habitat because that is the next one you guys are voting for currently. I'm going to post a, um, a poll in the uh discord so if you want to go and join my discord so you can vote on that when i uh publish it um i will be asking officially if you guys want me to do a pig habitat or a deer habitat or whatever other uh suggestions you guys have had in the comments okay we got five buckets of water so we can make five um mud blocks i guess technically let's go ahead and mud I'm glad it gives me my bucket back. I was a little worried it wouldn't. Mud, 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 mud. There we go. Now we have five mud blocks. Let's figure out where we're going to put them. I might actually make this like a door, just like a regular door. So that, oh my God, he's inside now. Look at him, oh my God, he's so cute. I might just make that like a regular door just so that, um, whoa, what's happening there? Whoa, whoa, what the? <laughs> Two, three. Four, five. Oh wait, I think this sometimes glitch because of the mud blocks, so I'm not gonna do it actually that close to the fence. At least last time I used this mod. So I'm gonna make it like kind of over here. There you go, baby! Here. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Good thing I have boots on. Do you wanna do you wanna get on in? Oh! <gasps> oh my goodness! Is that nice, buddy? Is that nice? <laughs> I might make you also like a little water area to be fair. Oh, why do I have an extra water bucket? Wait, did I have six? Did I have six water buckets? I thought I only had five. I have five buckets here and five blocks. I'm not sure. I also need to get you a trough. Oh, I don't know how to make that though. Let's see. Okay, you need iron, uh, sticks, and wood. Okay. And then how do I make you like the slop or the sludge or whatever you eat? Slop bucket? Two, okay, so two any food and then milk. Okay, so we also need to make a cow farm sometime soon because we need to have um, food for our wolves and foxes and whatnot. Um, and we also need to, you know, have milk and whatnot. Hello, buddy. Oh my God, it looks so cute. I hope you enjoy your little area. Um, as I said, if anyone has ideas, leave them down in the comments below. It is getting late though, Curly Fries, so if you would come inside, I'd really appreciate it. Um, let me, I think I might need to make this a door. Or wait, I could make a trap door so I can crawl through the door. That way I don't have to make it a full door and I can still go in and out. Here, wait. Let me do that. Cause I could go like this. Oh wait, does that not work in this version? Oh no. <laughs> Oops. I guess that doesn't work in this version. Never mind. Um, I'll actually just do this. Hello? Just for tonight. We'll figure out what we're gonna do in the future at a later date. Come on, baby. It's nighttime. Please don't run out while I'm fixing the ground. You're a good boy. You won't, you won't. There we go. Yeah, good night. Let's cuddle. <laughs> good morning. Okay, you can go back outside now. <laughs> Okay, no monsters gone in their little area, right? Yes, okay, good. Hello, little bunny. You're so cute, you want a little carrot? <gasps> Lop, what is that? How do I, advancements in a mania? Lop, okay, it's just a feeder rabbit, okay. I was making sure I didn't like tame the rabbit or anything. It doesn't follow me now, right? No, okay, cool. <laughs> I was like, I'll gladly take a rabbit, but I didn't know that's what I was signing up for. Let's check on all our amazing animal friends. Let's see, where where are they? Are they swimming? They're always swimming, of course they are. <gasps> There's a porcupine in there, I gotta save it. Porcupine, this is not your enclosure. Be very quiet. Come on, come on. 
Do you have a death wish? Jesus Christ. Now go live your life. Oh, porcupine. It's a hedgehog. Sorry. Hedgehog. Hedgehog. You guys even taught me the difference and I still, I still mix them up. Jeez. Okay, let's check over here. Wait, is that another? <gasps> oh, there's little little pigs. Let's check on the fox habitat. <gasps> Hello. Hello, beautiful babies. Oh my God, I love you guys so much. While outside here, I thought I might as well read some comments from the last episode. Oh, happy episode 10, guys. I just realized this is episode 10 of Zoocraft, our first double digit episode. Very exciting news. Let's see here. Let me go ahead over to the video. I'm pulling it up on my phone. Okay. So in episode nine, AKA the last episode, I released the official Zoocraft mods. Um, so if you guys want to get those, I'll be linking them in the description as well. Um, a lovely person commented, I think you should do pig snacks. I love animal, all animals. You do though. Um, also, I'm glad you're doing well without caffeine. That's so good to hear. Well, thank you very much. Thank you for congratulating me on, you know, doing well without caffeine. And thank you for also putting in your opinion on what we should do next. Thank you very much. Also, I appreciate your, you have been a consistent like commenter on almost all the episodes. Um, and I really do appreciate it, Miss Smiley. Thank you for your support. They also commented, oh, you can also name your sword Protection of Artemis if you want. That is a really cool name and a great idea. And I will definitely, I will definitely consider the, that um, name option. <laughs> okay, someone also commented that when they were going through the mods list, they found another mod called Zookeeper, I believe is what it's called. It's a mod pack though, um, and it adds like mo creatures and whatnot. And I purposefully didn't add mo creatures because it's a very heavy mod and I didn't want to have to worry about all the crazy like, um, monsters it also adds um, so that's why I didn't add it but I do really appreciate the comment and the suggestion um, the Jurassic the, any Jurassic mod actually sounds pretty cool um, adding like a Jurassic part of the zoo I'm not totally sure if I want to go down that avenue yet though but thank you so much for the comment someone else commented to do a deer habitat and this is why this is why I need to do a poll on my discord so please go join my discord so that you can vote if you would like to vote um, obviously if you don't care don't worry about it. There's also a lot more on my Discord, but you don't have to join if you don't want to. Um, I just want to see. Okay, yeah, she's doing good. I was like, I haven't checked on her in a little bit, so might as well check. Okay, so now let's go ahead. Oh, excuse me. Uh, can we milk you? Can I milk you? You don't produce milk, do you? Yeah, okay. Apologies. I don't know what I was pulling on. <laughs> Anyways, can I do goat's milk? I know goat, I can, I, I'm pretty sure I can milk goats. Yeah, goat milk. Okay, so that is like the first step to us having a, um, having slop for the trough for uh, curly fry and possibly future other pigs that we may have back there. Okay, now she's coming along, she's coming along, but she still has quite a ways to go. Gotta say, gotta say. So let's go ahead and continue building this fine morning. I think we're gonna go with a cobble roof. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting. So let's go ahead and see how much cobble we have right now. Okay, we have 64. So let's see how much, how far we can get. I didn't need to open the chest, oops. Um, how far we can get with this cobble. And then we probably will have to go back to the base to grab more. Um, Cause I forgot what I was gonna do the roof with. I had to, I had to give it another look. See, I had to make sure that I liked the vibe that we were going for. Regardless, I'm not sure if this is enough. Yeah, I don't think this is enough. So we'll probably definitely have to at least mine a little bit. I'm not sure if we'll have to mine um, too much, but we'll see. Okay, so this is gonna be the first roofed area. Oh wait, I've forgotten this version. You can't do that. Bloop. It's really weird playing 1.12.2 in survival because I never really played survival Minecraft all that much. I've only recently gotten into it due to Fallen Stars SMP, which if you don't know what that is, it is an SMP with all my friends. It is a role-playing SMP. So if you, if that sounds like something you'd like, uh, go check it out. Um, I have a full playlist with all the people's point of views, but I also have just a personal, my character's point of view playlist as well. Okay. That feels like really low. So I think I'm gonna kind of like dupe the eye a little bit, like make it seem a little taller by making this a little bit shorter if that makes sense like a little lower in the ground and then adding 
Hmm, adding, we don't have any dark wood on us, do we? Um, we can add this and tie it in a little bit. And then we can actually do this as well. How does that look? That looks a little bit better. Okay, cool. I do want to add torches. Yes. Oh my gosh, this is going to be such a cool butterfly aviary. Oh my goodness. Now, I have no, no clue how to get butterflies in this game with the butterflies mod. Um, so I might end up having to order them just because it's like, maybe you have to generate the world for the first ever time with the butterflies mod installed. Um, or there might be like a butterfly net, let's see. There's just a straight up butterfly. Spawn butterfly. There's a book talking about all the different butterflies. There is a butterfly net. Okay, how do I make you? Um, sticks or river cane, string, and then lead. Okay, so we might make that just to make it like once we get it all built anyways, we'll need it, you know? Um, oh wait, is there like another? Yeah, okay, that's empty. But the thing is, I was thinking about it and it's not gonna show really ever. So I'm just gonna, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. I know, I know. I'm just gonna do that. For now, I will come back and replace it at a later date, do not worry. If I forget, you guys might have to harass me in the comments. <laughs> okay. Yep, I'm definitely gonna need more cobble. Stairs. Oh shit, yeah, I, I, I'm also gonna need more cobble in general. I, I forgot that this is a like peaked roof design. Okay, well, in that case, let's go ahead and go get some more cobble. But first, I'm actually gonna spread this around a little bit more. There we go. We're off to the mines once again. Down we go. I'm thinking since I just need cobble, I'm just gonna kind of empty out the sides here. Oh no, <gasps> creeper, oh man. So we back in the mine, got a pickaxe swinging from side to side. <laughs> oh no, there we go. Halt, foul beast. Actually, explode. Yeah, thanks for the cobble. <laughs> Ooh, coal. Don't mind if I do. Okay, I think I have enough to finish off the roof. At least I should. I'm gonna like get rid of some of these just to like, have a little bit more under my belt. That should be good. We might have to end up coming back down though. First, we need a little nap. <gasps> Carly fries out. Oh no. It's okay. He's a big boy. Oh, he's actually not. Hey, Carly fry. You wanna come inside for a potato? You want a potato? You want a potato? Hey, you want one? There you go. <laughs> Let's go to sleep. And another good morning. I should save this last potato so I can plant more potatoes, to be fair, um, because he loves potatoes. So I wanna make sure I have plenty of them for him. I don't know why they like hanging out in this back area so much when they get growled at through a wall. They don't seem very intelligent, if I'm gonna say that, if, I'm, if I say so myself. Hey, yo, who's shooting at me? Oh, there you are. There you go. Ah, uh, the butterfly aviary with my amazing dirt pillar in the front. Should I make like a bridge? I feel like that'd be really pretty. Maybe just like a lily pad bridge though. Make it like kind of match the kind of ethereal nature-y vibe of the butterfly aviary. That grass is so green over there. Mm. Ah! <laughs> oh, I forgot to, okay. Here, wait, we'll just make a crafting table here. Wow, I am so smart. I turned all my cobblestone into stairs and I need regular cobblestone since it's a peak roof. I forgot once again. I'm just gonna dig straight down at this point. Okay, that should be more than enough. Tamakichi has entered the room. Let's grab some dirt and then build our way back up and no one will ever know. <laughs> there is so much dirt on this building just from me having to get up to the roof so many times. Oh my God, a zombie villager. Hello there. I don't think you're gonna survive getting up here, bud. Yeah, that's what I thought. 
Tamakichi has left, by the way. He left a little bit ago. I think he was just grabbing a jacket. <laughs> Are we gonna need even more stairs? Jeez. I hate doing that. I keep accidentally placing torches. Like that, okay. We're moving them out of our offhand. I think we're still gonna need more. Oh my goodness. Roofs take up so much material. I promise I play Minecraft. Okay, we still need more. Wow. It is coming along quite nice though. If I do say so myself. Like once that's done, that's gonna be pretty. Pretty. I think we're gonna go ahead and end this episode here. I will finish the butterfly aviary in the next episode. Pinky promise. And you know, you can't break pinky promises. Go over to my Discord by clicking the link in the description, clicking the Discord button, and then following the prompts on the hashtag reaction rolls chat, or just the reaction rolls chat rather. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys next time.